Hey guys! Today we're making a simple miniature vending machine. Tutorial for the Pepsi bottles can be found on my channel. The machine itself is pretty simple to make. The one part of this tutorial that isn't really going to be all that simple to make, I guess, is to paint the front design. Obviously, you can paint any design you want and make it as simple as you want. I'm going to be making my design available through my Patreon blog, but otherwise you can of course just go to Google and find an image that you like on there, if you prefer. I first made a sketch using a mechanical pencil, I then outlined the letter using a fine liner, and then for the entire base of the design I used markers. I then used my watercolor pencils for details and added the final highlights as well as corrected the letters using white acrylic paint. On my last couple of videos I've been getting some questions about the Patreon blog and what it is. A few weeks ago I made an account on Patreon and I'll leave the link to my Patreon account in the info box if you're interested in checking it out or reading about it. But I made a blog which is available for those who support me on there and it's basically just a place for me to put up the measurements for the designs I'm making, putting up printable images for the packaging I make, so for the boxes of pastels, the Cheetos bag I made recently, etc. One of my goals, which I'm hoping to be able to reach at one point, with the help of the Patreon, is to be able to add subtitles to my videos. I'm going to begin with making English subtitles for all future videos I'm going to be uploading once I reach my first milestone, and then I'd love to be able to add Spanish, French, etc. so that more people will be able to understand the videos I'm making. And as I mentioned, I'm going to be putting the link in the info box just in case you're interested. Once you're done, you can cut it out and cut a slit where you want the soda to come out. I also took some plastic from some packaging and just cut a piece in the same size with the same slit in the middle. Then for the machine itself, I just used some red and black cardstock. And for this, you want to begin by making the front, which is just a black piece that is slightly wider and longer than the design you made. You also want to cut a couple of side pieces in red and just glue those in place. Once you have that, you can add the design with the plastic on top, and I just use some strips of the black cardstock to attach them. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I made a couple of simple pieces from pommel clay, one of which was kind of a frame for the opening where the soda comes out, just to make it look a bit more neat. And once you have glued that in place, you can trim off any excess paper. Next, I made the side panel where the different options for the drinks are, as well as where you put the coins. And after baking, you can glue that in place as well. I then took a piece of paper and made a small label that matched each type of drink. And I know I used a Pepsi bottle for a Coca-Cola machine, that's just the choice I made. I personally don't care about the brand in this case. And I'm probably gonna get comments about it on here, but that just means they didn't listen to this part of the video. For the place where I put the coin in, I just cut a piece of metal from the holder from a tea light and painted a stripe of black acrylic paint. Now you can glue on some red cardstock to the top of the machine. I then took a piece of some black cardstock and folded it to be kind of like a U shape. You want this to be wide enough to fit the bottles because it's going to act like a slide. Then bend the end so that the soda bottle has somewhere to sit and glue it in place. Once you cut off the excess you'll be able to put the soda bottle in from the back and it'll come out from the front. Lastly, you just want to glue on a back piece that doesn't cover up the slide at the top, and you're done. 